Right, a small walk. Let's see. Uh, 20. Um, 27th of February 2020. It's a leap year this year. I've come over to Sand Bay because this is another day of respite from the heavy rain. Um, so I've decided to go to Sand Bay. I did the woods yesterday. The woods, I met a fellow person I've known for quite a few years now. Um, he, he's a walker and a traveller and travels about the world and everything. He retired when he was 45. But he was agreeing with me about how they're going to destroy the trees. Western woods will be disappearing because a group of people who see themselves as special has decided that the woods have to go. Now I think that's terrible. Okay, I have a bit of a clearing around the fort area, but not all of the flipping trees. It's terrible. I don't agree with it. Anyway, it's quite a sunny day. There's a nice breeze. A few high up clouds. There we've got um, steep home over there. A few seahorses. I, I went out there on a boat once, a rib boat, and perhaps not quite as windy, but the seahorses were probably that big. That's another story, anyway. And there's some um, flat home which I've also been on. It's eight years now since I've been on the islands. Uh, it's not so easy to get out there now. I think you've got to go to Cardiff if you want to go out there. I'm not sure. But I won't risk my back again and my hips and everything, which are badly hurt. Really, did not damage on the rib boat with that. Yeah. But, uh. <sighs> that's another story, anyway. Um, basically, it's quite warm out of the sun, out of the wind. It really is quite warm. And as you can see, there's the sand bay there. This is the safe path in the winter to use. In the summer, unless somebody clips this back, this is um, a bit of a obstacle course going through here. But then you can normally walk on the lower path. But the lower path stays muddy for quite a long, long time. It takes a long time for it to recover, to be honest. It takes a long time. That log's been there for years, that log there. I've seen people sat there having picnics and that. It's lovely, look at those lovely clouds. Yeah, my cousin Barbara in Canada, she's something like a third cousin. So many times removed, I can't remember, probably once. And she, um, she passed away a week ago. So it'll be a week exactly tomorrow. And, uh, you know, so she was my main communicator with Family Tree, mainly to do with the Fletcher family. But she was one of those people that I met through doing my Family Tree. And um, I'm going to miss her, her lively conversations, her beautiful mind. I hope they keep her Facebook page open because um, and she might have made comments on the tree. I'm not sure if she has or not. I hope they keep that page open and that we can still put things on it for her. I don't know if they will. Some twins on the family radio really what she felt. Yeah, it will depend on all those sort of things. I don't mind keeping my note for people to view my videos and photos in the future. I'm quite happy. It's such a good day for photography today. We've had weeks of grey, horrible weather. 
grey skies, pouring rain, fierce winds, which are beautiful in their own way. Of course they are. I decide which way I'm going. I won't be going along that bit. It's not too bad. Right, as you can see, it's quite, quite boggy there. I've just got walking boots on. I'll just pop up here a minute, see this. Here's an old pillar box. I don't know if I've ever been up close to this one. <coughs> no, I don't reckon I have. It's a pit stop. Right, over and out a minute, everyone. Look, it's quite a good view, isn't it? From here. Over and out. Right, further along Sand Bay area, all this the volunteers come down and pick up all the plastic out of, because it's high tides now this time of year. That's come over from Wellslet. I don't know what it says, but uh, something about pedestrians. And there was an arrow pointing that way, so that's been come with, that's come on the tide. And I said people come down and pick all the plastic up here and then they pile all the wood, the wood up. Some people collect wood, some people have a lot of bonfire. I found a little plastic man, a little plastic spaceman. And the last time I came down here, a couple of weeks ago. See that somebody's trainers there, look. You should be surprised what you find coming along, really. Before that people come and pick through it all. I mean, if there was anything of significance, it would have been found by now by others. It would have been found. That's what I like about this beach, though, is that they, we do have what I call treasure. You have what I call treasure. You can have a little ring. You know, you might find something, you know. Like I said, it was a spaceman. He was actually propped up on the wall. Been brought right in when the tide came right in. Yeah, it's a bit like a graveyard and a wooden graveyard. Oh, we'll go along, we'll go along, yeah. If it's too bad, we can pop back. <coughs> I expect some people have already been down and picked some stuff up, you know. I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, Western Woods. Already thinning out near the fort area. Already thinning out. But in my next couple of years, that'll be gone. It's, it's going to be good from one point of view, so that you can see the fort. But destruction of habitats and beautiful trees. Basically, I don't think they should be allowed to do it all. I think there should be an area left for the bluebells in the wood and all that. I feel quite sad about it now. I really do. Uh, like I say, over there we got. Is that home? It's like house. Thought I saw something on the horizon there. 
Yeah, big ship. I'll be watching that. I don't know if it depends if it's going out or coming in. I'll be watching that. If it's coming in, I'll see it when I'm up on the top. A bit later. A little bit wheezy to say. <coughs> you have to get out there when you can. I mean, in the past, I would have gone over to Cheddar, you know, and gone up on the hills or gone to Roborough. But, um, It's always a bit boggy. I do that bit in the summer usually. I do that bit in the summer. I don't know if I... This is where we come to have the ice cream as well when the weather improves. The ice cream man or ladies here. I always treat myself usually. I usually treat it at the start of the walk because it could be gone by the time I come back from a walk or I'm doing a big circular so it depends where I come back. Depends which way I'm going because I usually, normally do a circular you see. I didn't walk through the woods today because um, I did the wood yesterday. Yeah, they've repaired that wall the other year. And I think this is um, owned by the National Trust now. Or oh, it might have been always owned by them, I don't know. Middle Hope. They've made people pay to park now. Like I said, I've, I have videos. I don't know if I've done this particular bit for a while. But I'll be making my way up there now, up to some point. Not all the way along, I'm not actually going to the end because it's too windy actually. And it's a bit slippery. Over and out.